The flu is on the rise in North Carolina. In fact, our state is now in the CDC's red zone, meaning we have a high number of flu cases. CBS 17's Gilat Malamud is live for us tonight in Raleigh, digging deeper into those numbers. Gilat. According to state data released today, four people died from the flu last week. A state epidemiologist I spoke to says those numbers are not abnormal for this time of year, but as those numbers continue to come in, it's a reminder of how serious the flu can be. <coughs> flu season is in full force in North Carolina. <coughs> It certainly looks like we are at the steeper part of the curve where the numbers are really beginning to jump up. Numbers from the State Department of Health and Human Services show flu patients quickly outpacing COVID-19 and RSV patients in hospitals. Dr. Nicholas Turner is with Duke School of Medicine. What are you seeing right now in the emergency department and then at the pediatric level? Is there concerns with capacity there? We are not hitting any critical capacities right now, but I think people are starting to see longer ER and urgent care wait times because things are pretty full. Things are busy for Hornet Health's general pediatrician, Dr. Lori Langdon, too. We have been swamped with a lot of cases of RSV as well as flu. Langdon wants parents to know the two biggest signs it's time to take children to an ER are dehydration and respiratory distress. Breathing fast, heavy or hard, having nasal flaring up and down, grunting with each breath. Uh. According to the state's latest numbers, 22 people, including one child, have died this year from the flu. That does not include a Wilson County School's fourth grader who, according to the school's principal, passed away this week after being hospitalized with the flu. One thing that's not on the rise this year, North Carolinians with a flu vaccine. Are definitely not doing as well as we could. NCDHHS state epidemiologist Zach Moore says about 40 percent of people in the state have a flu vaccine compared to the typical 50 percent. It can really reduce your likelihood of having severe illness or even winding up with complications or hospitalization from flu. The Duke doctor I spoke to says he wouldn't be surprised if high flu numbers continue into January and even February, which is why all the experts I spoke to are still pushing people to get a flu shot. Live in Raleigh, Gilad Malam, CBS 17 News. That's going to be tough. We've got to take care of ourselves. Gilad, thank you.